good morning everyone myself siddhant i am a new software developer in this tutorial we will talk about uh, how to send a sms notification in the preceding tutorials uh, we will uh, check uh, how to, as well as we how to send a uh, uh, whatsapp messages uh, to your number uh, as well as uh, we will see uh, the list of messages being sent of, uh, for a by a particular user uh, and uh, we can filter out in the in between the date ranges and we can also filter what kind of mess based upon the a what message criteria uh, uh, that particular user is sending a uh, messages uh, so we also do not have any inbuilt connected to send uh, sms or uh, or configure the uh, to send the whatsapp messages we have a third party uh, applications like uh, twilio and nexmos and etc uh, which uh, does the job uh, pretty uh, good so, okay So we have our applications like, uh, as I said, that Twilio is available. We, uh, since we will be using Mulefo, we have a Twilio connector available here, as well as uh, Nexmo is available. Nexmo MSS API is uh, also available. So in this lecture, I will go with uh, Twilio. Click on the Twilio connector and you will be receiving this page and uh, you can add the depend, click on the dependencies snippets. You can copy paste and uh, uh, put it in, your, in the pom.xml file in a dependency list uh, as well as if you go to the uh, studio oh, studio, you can go to the exchange and uh, place it at Twilio and you will be receiving the connector and add it okay and change the version based upon your requirement. So here I'm using the uh, latest version here. Uh, once you uh, receive the uh, retrieve the dependencies for the Twilio connector you will be receiving the numerous a uh, number of operations here which uh, does e each requirement okay to so send messages uh, used to uh, send a message uh, to a particular uh, person uh, and a redact is to confirm the redelivery of the delivery of the message or you want to uh, change that particular message and send it back uh, get message list is uh, I have said right so we want to uh, receive the list of all the messages being uh, sent by a particular user uh, or we or we can uh, do a, f a filtration uh, the date range uh, in between what are the messages we want all the we can uh, take help of the get message list so get message uh, is used to uh, receive a mess uh, get the list get the uh, information about a particular message uh, we have to provide uh, the message id for that similarly the delete media and delete messages uh, for deleting purpose okay yeah. before uh, using the uh, doing any uh, work uh, we will uh, go to the twilio connector and we have to create an account for that uh, uh, for that you simply go to this url twilio.com try twilio Twilio. Once you uh, go to the uh, web, web URL, you will be receiving this space where you have to create a, your free trial account. One, then you will be receiving an email confirmation, confirm your email. Then uh, you go to uh, your, uh, once you confirm your, you will be receiving the, uh, you will go to this console where you will be having uh, the account ID and authorization token. These two are unique for each account. So you, which, this will be helpful to our uh, to uh, uh, authorizing uh, uh, your uh, access to this uh, uh, service. Yes. And also you have to register uh, your mobile number uh, uh, in the Twilio account. And so we will be using any a trial number uh, we from received from the Twilio account. So this, uh, this uh, for me, this is my number, which I will be using uh, to from through this uh, mobile number, through this number, I'll be sending a messages, uh, SMS notification to a particular person. Okay. okay. So to get uh, your trail trial number, you have to click on the triple dots and go to phone numbers. Once you go to phone numbers, you will have uh, this web URL opened. Then I have already created a uh, generated my number. So yeah, if, you, if you want to have more than one number, you have to go to commercial edition. Okay. Yes, since I, uh, since uh, I have already generated here, it's simple. There will be one option available where you can uh, uh, click on that and you will be receiving a simple sample number. Okay. So through this number, I can send a, a message and notifications or uh, even also send uh, email, uh, sorry, WhatsApp message notification, all that uh, I can do that. Okay. okay. So, uh, so I'm, uh, I have created a sample uh, 
tutorial for this project for this where uh, i'll be sending a messages and uh, i'll be using redact messages uh, to uh, to uh, retrieve the delivery uh, confirm delivery everything yeah. i am uh, i will uh, debug this application and show you so meanwhile uh, what i have given in the uh, listener listener and uh, this is my base path so this is uh, in the base from the uh, from the uh, url i will be sending uh, the number to which number i want to send a sms notification so so i have created you are you parameter for that and then now so uh, i have created a request payload which this will be sent to this uh, send a message operation palette so it it accepts a url encoded format two is uh, the number uh, to which you want to send messages and from is uh, the num my number which i have generated from the twilio account body is the payload okay so this two and from i uh, have uh, so so the uh, number i have provided here this is in the yaml configurations and uh, the two is the number which i will be receiving from as a uh, ura parameter i am concatenating with the plus symbol so we have to remember that uh, the numbers should be in this format plus then uh, a two two digits of your area code uh, sorry uh, your country code then uh, uh, the your original number okay this is how the format should be then uh, drag and drop this send message operation so for that you have to create a twitter uh, twilio configurations go to global xml and create a type twilio and uh, click okay and it will generate so here it will be displaying a username and password so username is your sid and password your authorization token so these two uh, values are available uh, in your account portal if i go here Yes, so this is your this account SID and authorization token is your username and password. Then remaining all will be generated automatically. You do not have to uh, type anything. Okay. Once it is done, then provide uh, the SID or uh, account SID and give the payload here. And so once uh, your message has been sent, you will be receiving a message ID. Okay. So each message uh, which you are sending. a unique id will be generated so this will be helpful to track your messages or to uh, get retrieve the detailed information of what message you have sent to whom you have sent and what date you have sent this all the information you will be you can take help of uh, message i said to retrieve it okay so once uh, i am logging here the uh, id just for uh, tracking purpose and then again i have created uh, this uh, request payload from and to here i am interchanging it the uh the numbers okay so that i i want to send back the response uh, saying that yes it is delivered properly so using a redact uh, message palette uh same configuration the extra uh, parameter we have to add is message id this will be receiving from the send message as a response right so this that one i am using it okay so once it is done we will be i'm converting into a json format the output of the redact messages the simple for simple Okay. so now i have already deployed it i have created a postman so in this body i am sending the order in tracking information okay to a particular uh, this particular uh, user i am sending it saying that uh, the order should be delivered on this particular date from the zomato account okay so, okay so i'll click on send okay So, converting it. So, I have I have sent a message, but if you see here, right? See here, date sent is still we are getting null. Okay. Okay. i'm receiving the uh, st status as queued it's not i'm not receiving as delivered or confirmed or something i'm not receiving it so i will uh, move on further so here I'm, i have interchanged the number to get the confirmation so 
So I have completed it. Now, if you see here, right, as an output, I have received a, a date sent, the, which on which particular date I have received the message and and I have received the status as delivered. So before it was in the queue, now it is delivered. Uh, uh, I have opened, uh, I have took a snapshot from my mobile. And this particular message has been received. Uh, the same message we have received here. So I have received an SMS notification here. So this is uh, one of the, uh, this is the scenario or the uh, tutorial where uh, we can uh, send a SMS notification. Okay, why do we uh, go for SMS notification is because of uh, sometimes we can, we, have to, we want to automate uh, the, we want to know the OTP, uh, we want to uh, track the delivery or order confirmation. These are all being done automatically and we can also achieve through the new software. Yeah. So in, uh, in the next tutorial, we will see uh, how can we send a message uh, through a WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for uh, going through this tutorial. We'll catch up for the next tutorial. Thank you.